Hello everyone, my name is Bruce Vaughan and in this video I'm going to show you an exciting new Google Doc add-on called MultiFind and Replace. Once installed you access MultiFind and Replace from the extensions menu, select Start and this displays the MultiFind and Replace sidebar. And sets of Find and Replace phrases are stored as named lists. Lists already entered can be selected from the drop-down selector at the top of the sidebar. At the top are the edit buttons for editing, creating, duplicating or deleting lists. An expandable text box displays the find and replace phrases for the selected list. The blue area allows you to select options for finding or replacing. These include an option for finding whole words only, as well as various options for matching the case of words when finding or replacing. There is also an option to select all found text in the document. This is very useful for bulk formatting of text items throughout a document. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use this story about a cat and a mouse. We will change it to a story about a lion and a sheep. We already have an empty list, so we simply click the Edit button to begin. And now we can enter the Find and Replace phrases, one pair per line. Note that a single character separates Find and Replace phrases. By default this is a comma, but if any Find phrase contained a comma, then you would need to change the separator character to some other character that's not in any of your Find phrases. There is also a character to indicate that a Find phrase is a regular expression. This is equals by default. Any find phrase beginning with this character will be interpreted as a regular expression. Use the edit box provided to change that character or simply delete it if it's not needed. You can select a unique highlight color for this list. Also, you should give each list a unique name. We will call this list Story Changer. Click Save to save your changes. Now the main screen shows that the Story Changer Find and Replace list is selected. The Find and Replace phrases are displayed in the text box. In this case we only want to find and replace whole words, so the Find Whole Words Only box is checked. Let's begin by doing a simple find operation. You see how both find phrases cat and mouse have been found and highlighted. Now for the replacing. Turning on the Adapt Case function, we'll make sure that the words Lion and Sheep are capitalized. First, I will limit the Replace operation by making a selection. Then with no selection, the Replace operation applies to the whole document. So now we have a story about a lion and a sheep, and the Clear function will remove the highlights. To change the formatting of the words Lion and Sheep, we activate the Select Found Text function. Now the Find command will select the found text instead of highlighting it. We also have to activate the Swap function, which makes Lion and Sheep to be the find phrases instead of Cat and Mouse. Now we click the Find button to select the text we want to format. Then with the text selected, we are free to choose the formatting we want. But if you want to share this Story Changer list, you need to be able to export it in a form that can be imported by someone else. To do this, we access the Data Management feature of MultiFind and Replace from the Extensions menu. Data Management enables us to export import, or delete all of the lists in the multi-find and replace memory. To export, click the blue Export Lists button. Then each list is appended to the current Google Doc as a table with five rows and two columns. Here is the table exported from the Story Changer list, and it's best to create a separate Google Doc for this purpose. Now I will import some lists I created earlier. First select the data tables in a Google Doc, then click the green Import Lists button. Now the imported list will be visible in the drop-down selector. 
There are three lists that will find articles, conjunctions and pronouns in the text and colour them differently. And note that these three lists only have find phrases, but not replace phrases. We turn on whole words only, and we don't care about matching case, so we leave that off. First, we find the articles. Then the conjunctions. And then the pronouns. Next, let me demonstrate how you might use a regular expression as the find phrase to remove multiple spaces in a document. Starting the find phrase with an equal symbol indicates that this is a regular expression. This particular regular expression finds groups of two or more spaces. In this case, the find phrase itself contains a comma, so the character to separate the find and replace phrases has been changed to a semicolon. You can use any character not found in any find phrases. The replace phrase is a single space, so multiple spaces will be replaced with a single space. But when we are finding and replacing things that are not words, like spaces, we should turn off the find whole words only option. So now we click find and replace, and our job is done. Let me show you a fun application of multi-find and replace, sending secret messages. We will replace the lowercase letters with other symbols. In this case, find whole words only should be off, and we should match the case when finding. Clicking the find and replace button, the process takes a few seconds because it has to swap so many different characters. Now, anyone with the same find and replace list can read this scramble. All you have to do is select Swap. This reverses the phrases, so the Replace phrases are now the Find phrases. So now we click Find and Replace, and it all becomes clear. Finally, while you can store many lists in Multi Find and Replace, and each list can have many Find and Replace pairs, all of this data is loaded into your browser when you use this add-on. Therefore, you should delete lists that you aren't using or won't need for a while. The recommended way to do this is to first export all of the lists to a Google Doc from the Data Manager, then delete all of the lists in Multi Find and Replace in the Data Manager, and then use the Data Manager to select and import only the lists you need from that Google Doc. Well, that's all for now, and I hope you enjoy using Multi Find and Replace.